You're very welcome to this short tutorial on advanced database searching from TUS Midlands Library. So we'll go to collections and databases. The SA topic example we're going to look at is the effects of supplements on sports performance. So the most relevant database would be Sports Discus, which is an EBSCO database. We could equally uh, and should also search in some of our other databases, such as Scopus, PubMed and ProQuest databases search all when researching this topic. When you sign it, when you open the database initially, it's best to sign in as an individual. If you haven't got an individual sign in for this database, just click sign up. So uh, our search concepts for this essay would be the concept of supplements and the concept of sports performance. So we'll start with supplement and sports performance. Usually for phrases, it's best to put them in inverted commas. Just do a quick search for supplement and sports performance. And we find we get 276. Now there's a number of things we can do to improve this search. One might be the use of a truncation symbol, which is a um, star sign, which will uh, now allow us to search for anything that begins with that. So it will be searching for supplement, supplements and supplementation. So if we try that search, we can see our results increase. The next thing we might want to do is rather than a phrase search, which means those two words have to be together, we can do what's called a um, proximity search. So sports and five performance means the words are still going to be close to each other within five words, but it'll give slightly more results. We also need to uh, get rid of our inverted commas. So you can see we've gotten more results there. The next thing we might do is to add synonyms. So synonyms are keywords that mean something similar to another keyword. In other words, different keywords that can be used to describe the same concept. So we could try supplement or antioxidant. Again with a truncation symbol. Our nutrition support. We put that in inverted commas. And we could try sports performance or athletic performance. And we run a search. You can find uh, more information regarding trun truncation symbols uh, and, and other uh, search aids under the help uh, screen in EBSCO. As this search is now a good initial search, we might decide to save it. So as we're signed in, all we have to do is go to search history, select it and save it. And save search. You can also save it as a search alert, which will bring new articles on that topic into your inbox. There are a few other limiters we need to apply. Uh, to our results, we can hide the search history again. And the limiters are mainly on the left hand side. So there's a date limiter, which is just a slide. So we're limited to the last seven years. And we now have 900 results. Um, we could look through those indeed, or we might decide to do a more specific limit, say by subject. Um, 
maybe the subject of dietary supplements for instance we've now got 200 results which is a, a very manageable amount to go through if you open up one of these results by clicking on the title you get a lot more information that might help you in future searches a list of subject terms that you maybe haven't used before um, you can check the abstract and you can look at the full text uh, if it's a useful article it's very handy to look at the full text and indeed at the reference list at the end for instance this might be a useful article here it's from the Journal of Sports Science 2013. So we can go back to our main library page and click on Publication Finder and put in the Journal of Sports Science and see if we have it and if we have it for that particular year. It's also possible to change where we search. So to search within the abstract rather than within the select a field option, which is a full text search, or we could search within the title uh, or a specific uh, or under subject and another good source of material might be if we try uh, a google advanced search as you can see you can limit by domain edu would be educational sites government sites gov gov.uk gov.ie these are all ideal sources for reports statistics etc opendata.gov is another uh, source for statistics uh, finally, you might want to go into the library site and look at um, library guides and look at suggested uh, websites for your area or go into our collections tab, click on theses and there's a lot of links to open access uh, journal articles such as through our research repository, uh, re uh, medical reports through LENAS, uh, ETAS which is a source for theses, etc. Thank you.